الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to 14 Masumin alayhi salam education Today our topic is the 13th infallible the 11th imam The holy imam Hassan al-Askari spent 22 years of his life under the patronage of his father Imam Ali al-Hati al-Naki alayhi salam after whose martyrdom he became his divinely commissioned Imam, Imam Hassan ibn Ali al-Askari, the son of the 10th Imam, was born in 232 oblique 845 and according to the some Shiite sources was poisoned and killed in 260 oblique 872. Through the instigation of the Abbasid Caliph al mutamid Eleventh Imam gained the Imamat after the death of his noble father through divine command and through the decree of the previous Imams. During the seventh years of his Imamat, due to untold restrictions placed upon him by the Caliphate, he lived in hiding and dissimulation means taqayyah. He did not have any social contact with even the common people among the Shiite population. Only the elite of the Shia were able to see him. Even so, he spent most of his time in prison. There was extreme repression at that time because the Shiite population had reached a considerable level in both numbers and power. Everyone knew that the Shia believed in the Imamat and the identity of the Shia Shiite Imams was also known. Therefore, the Caliphate kept the Imams under its close supervision more than ever before. It tried through every possible means and through secret plans to remove and destroy them. Also, the Caliphate and had come to know that the elite among the Shia believed that the 11th Imam, according to traditions cited by him as well as forefathers, would have a son who was the promised Mahdi Ahur Zaman. The coming of the Mahdi Ahur Zaman had been foretold in authenticated hadith of the Prophet in both Sunni and Shiite sources. For this reason, the 11th Imam, more than other Imams, was kept under close watch by the Caliphate. The Caliph of the time had decided definitely to put an end to the Imamat in Shiism through every possible means and to close the door to the Imamat once and for all. Therefore, as soon as the news of the illness of the 11th Imam reached al mutamid he sent a physician and a few of his trusted agents and judges to the house of the Imam to be with him and observe the condition and the situation within the house at all times. After the death of the Imam, they had the house investigated and all his female slaves examined by the midwife. For two years, the secret agents of the Caliph searched for the successor of the Imam until they lost all hope. The 11th Imam was buried in his house in Samarra, next to his noble father. Here it should be remembered that during their lifetime, the Imams trained many hundreds of scholars of religions and hadith. And it is these scholars who have transmitted to us information about the Imams. In order not to prolong the matter, the list of their names and works and their biographies have not been included here. At the last, we will be very thankful to you if you give us your reviews and your feedback about our given topic. And it will be our pleasure if you give us positive and helpful feedback.
थैंक यू सो मच